Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to the episode of Transport Fever 2 where last episode guys, we did some huge expansions over on the eastern side of Europe right now where we managed to set up a couple of little aura runs, creating some fuel and we're now finally shipping fuel at the moment to London and all the way to Amsterdam. Now it hasn't been without its uh, issues right now. I want to take a look at how we can improve that route slightly, maybe add a couple of extra trains on the same line. Just because we need to up the amount of stuff that gets transferred. So the producing oil places that create the oil uh, can produce a little bit more. It sounds really complicated, it does, but trust me, it's really, really easy and simple to do. I just got to get things all set up and run it. Now, guys, welcome back to the episode. If you are enjoying the series so far, I want to see more, then make sure you do smash that like button down below. If you're out there right here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. Now, today, I... I, I want to get the line, the passenger line from um, Hamburg up to Copenhagen and Stockholm because this also can be utilized to bring wood from over this region down to here, uh, the sawmill, which we can then take it to other places. Like one of those places could be the little tools factory down here and uh, other places where stuff could get up and running. I just need to have some more industries in my back pocket. So when I get to certain towns and areas like uh, Gdansk over here right now, could really utilize some growth from uh, tools and, and stuff like that. So I kind of need to get on to that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, we need to improve some other areas too and figure out how I'm doing a connection uh, Where was it over at Warsaw right now because it's gonna intertwine multiple layers Which is gonna be a little bit complicated, but first things first anyway This is what we need to kind of work out now currently if we kind of backtrack to what we done last episode we have this fuel factory here, which is creating fuel doing an amazing job It's shipping it to Amsterdam and it's shipping it to London now, to get and produce fuel, it needs normal oil. And we have two oil plants set up. We have this one over here and this one all the way over here. Now, the problem is they're not producing enough. I need to get it to level two. And to get it to level two, I need to ship more of it. Now, the problem is, yeah, it's doing amazing. The train's going back and forth, but it's not enough to consistently get something coming in. Same for this one over here. I need to get it to level two. So I'm going to add a second train in. So it's not about how much we ship, it's how often we're shipping it, which will then slowly start um, basically growing those two plants. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add and edit this at the minute. I need to add a couple of extra tracks onto it. So here we go all the way across and down right now. Because what I'm going to do is once this train here is left, I'm going to push this onto this side. So... I don't have to have both of them trains coming back and forth, having to wait for one or the other to leave, because I'm going to add an extra two trains on it. It's going to be four trains all together, so I don't want them to wait, if that makes sense. So, what I'm going to do then is go to the train line here. I'm actually... Well, I need this train to move first. Let me just kind of fast forward. Get this train out of here real quick. And we reconfigure what we've got set up. So, goodbye. Back into play mode. So if I delete this then, just to there, and in reality, I want this to then connect into that one. So that line, that should have connected all the way through, which would be, I'm trying to see which line it would, line it would be right now. What I should have done is actually selected that train itself. It's on line 9, so manage the line. So when it gets to uh, the Riga Annex, I want it to be on... Is it number three? Yes. I changed the colour as well so we can see it a little bit more. There we go. So that goes to there instead. So them two trains, one are not crisscrossing crossing over one another, so they all happen a little bit quicker. Now, we have the high-speed tracks as well. We also have... Uh, we can upgrade them. Um, I can set waypoints. But I basically need to... Oh, same waypoints. That's important, isn't it? Yeah. I need to create or simultaneously create an additional track running parallel. So if we start with this one to begin with, and let's bring it, say, out here into a secondary run. That's going to kind of follow all the way around. Right, hold on. To just here. Right, and it's going to connect in. Okay, it's tooting. 
So what I do then is I set the waypoint because we have then them that two two track lines right now running simultaneously, but they merge into one. Has that decided to go that way? I don't know why it has. I don't know why it's decided to go that way. Is that all of a sudden a quicker route for you? For you? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I didn't really want you to go that way, but hey ho, who am I to complain? Who am I to complain? So I'm after actually now wait and fast forward. So waypoint, obviously, that is this way. That is that way. Wait for that train to get into that station, and I'm gonna pause once more. So wait for it to fully be in. So then what I'm saying is that one goes this way, that one goes that way. So the right-hand lane should be the one that's going into the station. The left-hand lane is coming out, which it is doing just that. So then we need to put signals down. So these guys wait here if there's a train coming out. And as they're leading in, they need to wait there as train goes out. So technically, right... That is now divided between the two tracks, meaning I could then have a secondary train on that route doing the exact same thing. So if that then has two trains simultaneously picking up the oil and then dropping it off, shipment should then increase. Now, it doesn't matter how big the train is. That really doesn't matter. Um, so what I'd do, steam, A1 train here, cargo, we want... Um, bunch of oil into it we'll kind of go big i don't know how big it's going to be but i buy that and then we stick it on which it should be able to get to that line it should be the blue line there we go line nine so that will then come out and that will just do its thing because how all the trains are kind of connected with the signals that we currently do have we should be able to rock and roll pretty simple pretty easy so once the, both the, 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 the two trains are simultaneously, simultaneously doing what I need to do, that is going out 118. We should start to see that skyrocket as we progress forward. Now, I want to implement the same system on this train line as well. So what I need to do, train line here, we'll take it from, from, from here, where it kind of connects in. There I go, because we can kind of bring a train out from here, which is kind of a little bit more handy. Run this all the way around. Oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. Right, let me cancel that. I didn't realize, I, I completely forgot about the train line on that other side. So we do it from this side. So there's the point there. There we go. So run this all the way through with us. Oh, snap, I forgot, yes. Of course, we have the underground tunnel on both sides, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have to kind of re reconfigure this little system. So we just make sure that these trains are working. Yeah. And make sure that this one here stays on the right-hand side, which it does. That one's now going for the left. Good. Okay. Right. Okay. Is that train going all the way through that tunnel? Yeah. So now we quickly pause because I've completely forgot about them tunnels just there. So if I delete you as well. Delete them back a bit. Now, did that one have a slight bend on it? I believe it did, didn't it? So this is going to be really interesting right now to see if I can mimic what I originally had in. So I want it to have three, three lanes. So spin it uh, right round. And which that's going to make it even more... Do you know what? It's easier just for me to delete this and then redo it all because... The issues I'm going to have in the long run because of how that station is now being performed. Right, so if I slightly turn it, I get a nice little curvature on the go. So I do that to there, then tracks. One... Two. Like that. And technically this third one here does go in like that. Because it all merges into that. But I just need to have that there because that is not the same as like a normal tunnel. It's annoying. 
That's all I can say. It is annoying. So, right, cancel that off then. So, back to the building-wise. I then need to put this... I mean, I can put this as a slight plus. Well, first, got to rotate it around. To have that slight curvature on the way back. So then tracks. Now, where's the collision happening? So if I go to there, I need to go into there. But that is then considered not a tunnel, apparently. Why is that not considered a tunnel? Is it not low enough? What What is your issue? Oh, maybe I can do... um. Up the brush size. There. Make that feel a little bit higher. We'll smooth it off in just a moment. Hmm... Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? How we've managed to get... To I mean, I could shorten that. That could be a thing. I don't know why I use these, because they all annoy me at the end of the day. They, they all do annoy me. Right, so if I put a... A negative bend on that... There we go. So I've shortened it so we've got more surface area to work with when it comes to lowering that train line down. So from this point then. Now what the issue is here, and I don't know if, it, if I can do it this way instead, is the fact that the seabed is, not, is, is too low. So I should be able to pass this all the way under. So no, it all comes down to the seabed at this point. So we're going to have to uh, flatten it out. Just there. I should then be able to pass this all the way through. Still no. Why not? I don't get it. I'm having to come with... I know I had trouble with this one last time. So is it is it worth me minimalizing there? That's better. But obviously the slope is too much. So then that's when I, when I from this point then we slowly start coming up. So I get to here. If I can push it up. Oh, I can take it directly over there. Okay, that that kind of works. That works. So then I should be able to go connect all the way to over here. All the way over to over there. So as much as a pain in the booty that was right there, we should have this all working. So in reality then, right, in reality, if that train is coming down at this point, right, let me get this, let me get the, all these just right right now. So the waypoint that way and that way, and then the signal would be waiting here. Okay. So then as I come up to this point, the waypoint is this way and that way. And then the signal would be to wait here for the train to pass through. So, fast forward then. We should then have that split into two lanes. Or lines. It should do. Why have you not split? It should not be able to go back the same way. Hold on. Something's, something's fishy right now. Something's fishy, guys. How is it able to go back up that way? I don't know. It shouldn't be able to. What? You won't work perfectly fine. It just completely ignores everything. Does this... Do does these crisscrosses not e exist to you? Are you above the law at this point, game? 
Right, pause. Because something's not right. So waypoints then. I've set them up. Yeah, well you go this way. You're going this way. Into there. Oh wait, there's a, there's a waypoint there. Is that what's throwing us off as well? There's no other waypoints on this, is there? God, this has made me so confused. Why is this not following the route? I'm definitely doing something wrong, aren't I? Right, so waypoints tells them where to go. So I want them to go that way and then this way and the waypoint. Which, where's the train? It's there. Right, let me delete everything that's currently on it and we'll start again. Right, delete you, delete you. Delete you. They're all intertwined and connected anyway. And we have these ones just over here. It could be that some are a bit too close and don't really make much sense for us. So if I delete that la that line there. Oh, do you know what it could be? Are we are we fully connected? Yeah, we're fully connected. I, I'm gonna think then for a second there. Maybe something's not actually technically connected. But we should be all okay. So uh, back to the trains then. Or the train station. So to here, bam. So, before the train comes out, right, we're going to set up a waypoint right now that it goes up to here, and then this here, and it's set like that. There's got to be something with this that's not quite working. So if I delete this... Delete all that, and we'll go for a little bit more of a um, simplified connection. Right, that in like that, and then play. Does it still want to divide the train track? Something's not sitting right with me. Now, it can't be... Oh, <gasps> it's this! I knew something was wrong! I freaking knew something was wrong! Right, and then instantly, it should then work, right? I mean, the train is all automatically going the wrong way right now. I knew there was something wrong. So, fast forward. I said I knew something was wrong, but the train's still going the wrong way. That's hilarious. Right, it should now work, right? It's this line here, anyway. Right, pause. Waypoints. So I want them to go that way, and then come in this way. But now it's still an up, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't even English. Uh, update. So them signals are now correct, right? Yeah, that way and then that way. Why would they still not update? This train makes no sense. Right, I gotta go for the line individually. So it splits here perfectly fine. Follows all the way up. We get to here. It's connected. There seems to be a shadow. Right, it's all connected there. Right, I'm going to delete that. And I'll delete just here. It's as if they can't drive down that one side. 
Right, connected. Connected. And still nothing. So what if I... Say deleted you. All of a sudden, they can now go on that like the line. But obviously, the train track doesn't permit it. What is going on? Honestly, Talk about it, what guys, I just figured out what I did wrong. I was using signals, not waypoints. If you were shouting at me in the comment section right now, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, but I figured it out in the end. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's now! Finally on two lines. Jesus, boy. Jesus, what are you doing right now? Do you even know how to play this game? The answer is no. No, I don't. Right, that's all in then. I can get another train down. So before I do, this one's been running for quite some time. Um, and you know what? It still hasn't upgraded as much as I thought it would. Hmm. Now, would it be a good idea to consistently get more coming in on this line? Hmm. Because in comes another... Yeah, we'll do that line as well, then. So... Actually, before I do that line, then, let me do this line first, because obviously I'm just mimicking what I've just got set up. So, again, same again. Now, I could, I could utilize a secondary line altogether there. But uh, it's going to follow it down. It needs to go on the this side right now. So I'll bring this out here. And then just literally have this follow all the way around uh, to here. We'll first delete this little bit. And have a better setup altogether going in. We'll get it down to here. And then connect it directly in. So this is pretty much the same as well. Where's it gone? These. We need more shipment coming through. So if we get this now connected to there. If I just do a little crisscross there in case I want to get another secondary training at some point. You know, you can. You can. So, right. Waypoints. Get this right real quick. So out that way, in this way. Signals, and then they wait there. Okay. Signals, regulate. Uh, use uh, as a double path to signal the regulated traffic. Waypoint is use a route in a line, line, like a station. So signals, they just kind of wait. So that should then, by doing that on its own, defaults it there. But i got to add in the signals down here. So train line. So one way is this way, then out that way. And then they wait there on the signal. That's how it should work. So same again, another train. Cargo. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go for that, I'll be fine. So that line there. Out it toots. So we'll see how that ticks along first before I, I, I take a look at the other the method. But I'm not confident in this. But now I've got multiple lines set up. It doesn't matter what it's taking. It's taking something, right? Worst case scenario, I have to reroute it to another area. But that's really annoying me, that is. I don't know why it's annoying me. It just is. So. Give these some time right now. To do what they've got to do. And we'll figure something out. Because I need to extend our Hamburg line to Copenhagen. Then up to Stockholm. Now, I did mention last episode about maybe utilizing planes. Which I feel like could be a good idea. So, why don't I take a little quick little nose at this. Now. What would I do? A passenger airport? I don't really have much room. Let's say if I added it within London. That's a passenger airport right there. And 
I ain't got much space to implement something in it. It would mean destroying a huge area. I could actually, like, stick it further out. But then where's the fun in that? It'd be nice to have it to a city of some sorts, wouldn't it? It really would. Right, 116, this is on. Has that got now consistently got cargo being carried? So that does wait for a full load, doesn't it? On this line. Will it? Can it produce a full load before the other train comes back? Is the real question. I don't think it's possible. So what I'll do, manage the line. Take what you can take. And just be happy. Just be happy that we can transport the goods over. I might have to set up like a vehicle route. Because this is going to be the biggest pain in my life. Right, we'll leave it for now and we'll come back to it. So, coming from Hamburg then. We do need to utilize to some degree how we can create the connection going up to here. So, is it by train, or are we looking at a different type of route altogether? I could, I could ship them over, because the problem is, right, does it warrant me doing a train line all the way up? I could add a shipping system in. I can create a harbour here, which that needs fuel. Stockholm does. There's fuel over here. Shipping being shipped. Important. Very important. I could bring food from here on, a sh on the ship to Stockholm and really grow Stockholm. Copenhagen needs bricks. There's a brick plant down here, which I could bring the goods directly over to ship it. And then we can have like a small little harbour just here in Hamburg. That can then transfer the people over via a bus route. Shipping might be the better system for them three cities in a row. It's not all plain sailing and trains, is it? No. But this is really annoying me, that the fact that I can't get this shipment up right now. How do I... Hold on. Is there a help section? <laughs> can your boy look for the FAQs, please? Can I look for the FAQs right now? So transport is 100%. Shipping. Over to there. So what if I set up a route where they drive the goods over? If this does what I think it's going to do, then I think that is it. I can stop crying. So if I set up then a truck unload stop just there... Oh, damn. What is this, bad boy? That looks pretty handy, doesn't it? Uh, truck stop here. And if I do a quick little system. There. To here. Uh, do any vehicles nearby? Vehicle depots nearby? No. I don't know why I had to look. I, I kind of knew the answer straight away. Buy vehicles, cargo, I need ones that carry oil, all cargo, 11, 13 on this. All right, I'm going to do 10 on line 14. Configure. So that will bring more oil over here. And then hopefully that will then increase the shipments. i got to upgrade that road as well. That road is terrible. So we'll go with... Can I turn it to like a highway road? 60 speed limit. Is that the upgrade button? There we go. So once they start dropping all this off, then is that enough to claim... Wait, what road is that I've just upgraded it to? I've upgraded to a tram road. What am I doing? What am I legit doing? This is the upgrade road. Right, ignore what I'm doing, guys. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But, while that is super handy, the shipment's still not increased. Now, I'm shipping out as many goods as I can. It's storing as many goods as I can. So, do I then take a look? There was another fuel plant nearby, wasn't there? Or was I lying? Uh, no, it's still just that one. That is within close proximity. So then I'll start bringing goods from here as well. So over there. Via vehicle. Right. Where is the other one? The other one's there. The next closest one is all the way over there. It's too far to take it over that way. But this is stressing my brains out, man. So buildings then. Uh, vehicle, sorry. I'm gonna spin this right round. And just drop it there. So streets. Gonna bring that right round. Too much of a slope? Of course there is. This game is all full of slopes. Right, there we go. Because what I'm going to do right now is actually move. Rather than go to here, add the stop to there instead. A bit more easier. And then if I add a vehicle running over here. I want to see if this is enough to then incorporate because what because what i know is right so sometimes make a building upgrade you have to make it ship to multiple locations but i don't have that luxury at the moment right i don't have said luxury and while the shipment is, is really really decreasing i'm wondering if i can then say buy 10 more vehicles which you've got new vehicles now as well by the way actually i do five on that line 15. So without me even telling them what they need to do. Will this spark interest? It's gone to 111. Here comes the new vehicles. It's back down to 110. Um, okay, so we should actually think about upgrading that road. So streets, upgrade, you and you. Upgrade that bit and into here as well so they can drive a bit quicker. And uh, we got this one vehicle now skedaddling, boys. So worst case scenario, I'm going to have to then make this ship to somewhere else for it to be considered viable. But it, I mean, there's a fuel plant down. I could make it ship all. I can make them all ship down to there, to be honest with you. If that then technically becomes a secondary area, it all depends on what this does. So in it comes. Is it enough? No. So, does a road go all the way, say, down to here, for example? So, if I get that to level 2, I'm pumping more in. And that's all I really want it to do. So, now, I know it's vehicle, and I know it's going to take forever and a day to get over here. I am well aware of that, right? But if I kill off Riga South, and in return, put it to here, where is it traveling? It's got a distance and a half to go. But by doing that, see straight away, by doing that, having a secondary building it's shipping to, it automatically makes this go up. Now I know it's 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 long-winded. I, I completely understand that. But it's what I need to do to make this level up. And then the same thing for this building as well. I need to have a route that goes that way 
so this produces to level two and that is just going to be what it is okay unfortunately guys that is just what it's going what it's going to be oh i didn't do a new line what i could have done is as they get to istanbul west is then to also pick some goods up from here and then take it back down that will then make both of these considered to be shipping to multiple areas right that's what i'm hoping There we go. We've now leveled this up. So this will now produce so much more. So much more oil. So much more quicker. So if more oil has been produced, it means more is being shipped over to here, which means more fuel is being created, which more fuel will then get shipped over to other places. I need this plant to do the exact same thing as well. But it might need a complete run to be able to do it. Now I know what I'm doing right now. I know the type of vehicles I've got set up on it right now is just not viable. But what I can do is all the roads that it's using, I can upgrade to a highway style. Just for the purpose of now. So do it as it comes out to there. There we go. We'll leave it like that. So just for the purpose of now. So anyway, uh, that's leveled up right now, which is all good. Leave it as it is. I don't know if this is going to be classed as actually doing what I want it to do because it's maybe on a separate line altogether. So if I kill off both of them and we just new line it full stop. Now, if I've just got a, you know, a couple of vehicles on it, that makes all the difference. Which I've got to get them all the way to over here. There we go. That new line there. So would that then start pumping it up? We've got to wait for the vehicles. I'll just wait for the vehicles to get over here. And it means I could go back to my original secondary train going this way. And secondary train on this line too. We'll just leave it to do what it's got to do at this point. Yeah. So, that's going to be pumping out more oil than ever before. Dropping off more oil there. Which can only be a good thing for us. Which, in reality, I could make it bring oil back. Um, fuel back. But then you're thinking, it'll be so much easier to do with trains. You know what I mean? Like, you can't win at this point, can you? You cannot win. Oh, he'd be so foolish. He'd be so foolish. Right. Let's get the boat route set up then. So, we're going to go passenger harbour, cargo harbour. We'll go passenger harbour. Okay, we'll do passengers first. And then we can build our harbour upon this as time goes on. So, let me first kind of set up some roads. Okay, let's first set up some roads, which if I bring this one out to there and then push that going up, we'll get the harbour connected to that road. Ducks outside nav navigatable wa uh, waters, apparently. Okay, so if I pump it here instead, that road should, well, that road comes nicely down to it, which is then technically connected. So then for Stockholm... Oh, Copenhagen, sorry. If I just place that there. And then it goes over to, to Hamburg. So pretty much more of the same again. Just drop that there. And then we'll customize each one to be able to uh, accept large ships to begin with. But also eventually accept cargo. So delete that. So miscellaneous. Pedestrian engines, no. So we'll go for the large thingy here there um, that'll be for passengers and then cargo is a little bit different i bulk it out sideways on a small one then go up on a large one like that so then landings we've got a large landing here we've got a large landing there for that one so that 
dock area is done, we'll have a nice little bus route that kind of connects them all up. So cargo and passengers can use both. All right, delete you there. So we'll start with the... Yeah, the passenger one can go here. Cargo can then go like this. I mean, I could also... Could I get away with bulking that up twice to then making a straight... No, that won't work. So I'd just do that. I can reclaim the land to push it right against it, make it nice and smooth. So configure that. Land in, land in. Done. So then over here, configure this one. So passenger wise, we're looking at just there. Cargo wise, we'll go here. And again, I can reclaim it just to kind of finish it all off. So, landing and landing, done. Now, is there any other little towns, cities nearby? So, I could then add one in Gdansk and, and in Riga to create a big circled loop within this sea. Is this class as the Baltic Sea? Is that, am I right in saying that? I'm not 100% sure. So, that leads me then to, to have that ability to do so. We have create this really, really good shipping route. So... Yeah, okay, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So, I want to make sure that these are, to some degree, being utilized and have the ability to touch road outside of navigatable waters. Really? All right, let me come back to that. Where's um, Riga? Right, drop you there. So why is this out of navigator? Is it because of this, maybe? Um, right, flatten tool. Let's smoothen the edges off here. Get a bit more user-friendly. Now, it would work, but the road... So that's on navigable waters. Right, if I placed it here, because I can do a bus line, truck line, whatever it may be. It's just so low, isn't it? Right, this should work. So, little road just there. And connect them. Great. So quickly configure this then. So passenger. And we'll do cargo. So landings. All done. That takes care of that one. Now we already have a cargo one over here. So I'll still add a cargo on here because you never know if we want to bring food and stuff over to this place. Or other stuff. So I'll add it in anyway. So cargo. And then passenger would have like centralized. So then landings, bam. And then bam. There we go. So we can create some pretty decent routes right now. And have all these cities also have a cargo area. So it makes more sense to do it rather than um, than, than trains. Because it just, it's an effort to have a train run all the way up, isn't it? So if I set up then a, a passenger loop. So click on stations then. So passenger there, to there, uh, to there, back down to here, and stop just there. That becomes quite cool, doesn't it? So all passenger lines, nice. I'm gonna run with that one first. So I need a little, little kind of um, section here. What's it called? Hub, 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 boys, hub. <laughs> Uh, passenger wise then we can I've actually got all these like little kind of installed mods where you can have like ancient boats and whatnot Capacity a hundred, but their, their speed is a little bit slow So that does the fastest speed and he has capacity of 35 well these have a hundred That is 150 
versus 100 is small. 25 is top speed. Do I go for speed over everything else? I think so. And we'll put 10... Sh no. I want to put 15 sh No, no. 15 ships seems a lot, doesn't it? We'll go with 10 to start with. On this line 17. So that So, off the bat straight away, we're able to, uh... To get stuff going. Now, shipment here, if I had a run to Stockholm, that will also then increase the production from the fuel line, which would be really handy. How is this now doing? How is it kind of upkeeping? So it needs more fuel coming in, doesn't it? And how much is that shipping over? As much as I can pretty much take over. How is this doing? Again, as much as I can pretty much take over, I assume. So it just needs more fuel coming into that now, doesn't it? Which then makes me question why then I have this one. When I can funnel these up to there instead. You know what I mean? So that we'd, I'm just like heavily overloading that as the one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's do that instead. So manage vehicles. Sell them. And then that line 16, I can then delete. So get rid of you. All gone. So this train here, on line 10, managed a vehicle. Uh, sell. So line 10, then delete. Which means getting rid of this station. Deleting all this train line. Which is not nice to do, but I can filter into that and just have it run that way instead. Which then means I haven't got to worry about having that station there and that turn so the train I can, can keep going. I'll end it there anyway. I confirm the deletion of you. And I'll, I'll end this up to a certain degree. Because I can utilize it in some way, shape or another. Right then, so, then I have that other, well, I have that line. Is it line 9 from Riga Annex to East? No, that's the line we've currently got up and running. So, uh, line 13 is the issue. So, manage vehicles on that line, sell it. Line 13, uh, delete it. So, it's like all that stuff never existed, boys. It's like it all never existed. So, I'm going to focus on, on this singular run. I'm overloading this with as much oil as I can at the minute, but we have so much oil still to connect. So if I configure this station right now to have another set of tracks to which I can then run that train station down here up into it. So tracks... Which it will cross there, but it is what it is. Alright, there we go. And then set up a new line. So from there to here. And we'll quickly throw down right now the train depot. Because I ain't got one. I could bring oil from up there as well. Let's quickly get all up and running so I can get money being made. So buy vehicles then. Um, again, we're keeping it all steam at the moment. All 
All right, go quite big on that. Bye. Throw it on that line. Let's go. So that's another two oil um, wells over here then, pretty much. Now I have the ability to be shipped over here. So that is then going to increase it even more at this point. But it just needs more and more oil coming in. So depending on how these produce... It'll take a while because we've got to up the shipment levels. But on how much those produce, I might have to add an additional train on it. But I'm trying to funnel in so much oil right now, it's unreal. So we're trying our best, boys. Hopefully it's going to start producing a lot more. Here comes the first train. Not really going to bring any, if anything, in. But it should start rocking and rolling now anyway. It's got 11 there waiting. Those will increase as time goes on. So I'll just leave it to do what it's got to do. Which will then start making... Well, once I start getting loads more oil delivered here, then I'll set up the route over to uh, Stockholm. So, with that said then, I also need to set up a bus route going around so these guys can uh, get people to and from uh, the depot. Well, is it... Yeah, would you class it as the depot? I assume so. So, bus route then, if I had one just here. And, okay, do I first add in all the roads? So, I can have a road linking up to there. Uh, to here. Will that become quite a little bit of a traffic jam? Probably. Have that bend round to there. Straight down to here. Straight down. And then that way. I can have that come straight down to there. So I'm kind of trying... I'm trying to... Think of how the city is going to grow... In the long run. So stop just there. And then we'll work around the ring road of it. And it should collect everybody on the inside. Because they'll be able to walk in. And in the middle is the majority of the industry. So a new line here. There we go. So vehicle or road depot. Or place just there. So vehicles, passenger. So I get three of these buses. On that route. So that'll bring everybody around Stockholm to the boat, able to transfer over, so we'll start to see more people getting to it. Uh, Copenhagen, we kind of need to do the exact same thing. So we first have to initially figure out where the, the, the road routes are going to first run. We'll claim a little bit more land, so if I flatten it up to here... So then I can run... A road and we should bend it like that further down so I can have that road there connecting in I can have that road there connecting in it built anyway before I can even place it in myself that's hilarious so yeah it, it is destructing some of the city somewhat and it is building quite awkwardly in some areas, but that is all part of it. So that is Copenhagen right there. I'll let it then naturally do the rest for me. So building-wise, we have a little bus step over there. So we kind of then, like I said before, we kind of go around the ring of it. And I'll add in a fair amount of stops. And as they naturally build up more and more of the area, like that stop then, like here, becomes integrated to that road. And the main industry is in the center of the area too, so I ain't got to worry about passengers there for the most part just yet. So get another little route going around. So I do the outer, so when the city eventually grows, that outer loop will become slightly centralized. So road, vehicle depot all over again, which I'll put down there just slightly out of the way. And we'll get three buses on this.
What was the issue there? We're reporting problems? What's the problem? What seems to be the problem? I don't quite get it. You're joking me. I put cargo stops down. You're joking me. That is hilarious, guys. I've put cargo stops down instead of passenger stops. I'm so dumb. Let's try that one again, guys. I freaking did as well, didn't I? Right, slightly more utilized. So let's try that again. So there's technically one less stop, but we're now all up and running. So again, that does the same. So, so Stockholm and Copenhagen can now collect the residents and get them to where they need to get to. Now, we had one over here for Hamburg, and the stop for Hamburg is right there as well, so they can easily transfer from bus line to train line to boat line fairly easy. Okay, so then we had a look at Gdansk over here. So we don't really have one set up here, so we'll do the streets first. So if I set these straight roads going out to there, and then we'll connect like this. Very, very formal and whatnot. Road down to here. I'm trying to create these little kind of walkable ways and whatnot. And if I do a road there, just there. I know it's going to delete some stuff, but hey ho. This is what it's all about. Okay, well, I'll be happy with that. So in terms of buildings then, making sure it's a bus stop. We'll go on this side, which is, yeah, going this way. So we'll have a stop here. I'll have a stop. Just there. Do one there. There. Do one just here, which is close enough to cross there. But still, I'm going to want, you know, additional ones. So one just there. We'll then bring it back this way for one there and one there. So it's a little bit all over the place, this one. But the city is a little bit all over the place anyway. So I'm, I'm just pretty much picking hot spots. So transfers for the city to the train line to the shipping line as well, which is really important. So, road depot. Which I'll just throw slightly out of town a little bit. And I'll get free buses on that. There we go. And then we have Riga. Now, Riga is not really built up just yet for a bus route. And the, the shipping area here kind of catches it all. And it also kind of gets over to the, the train line too, so it is within walkable distance. So we'll leave Riga for now, and I'm going to see how that kind of ticks along. Right, okay, so how is this now doing? It is really, really highly maximized. It's pumping out oil like you wouldn't believe, which is really good to see. How are this now doing, considering it's got lots of oil? So that will get over to here. It will pretty much pick everything up. So it's still shipping really well, which is good to see. Okay, so how are you doing? Dropping lots off. So that's maximized right now. It can't produce any more if it, you know, if it tried. So how is that boding well for over here? We got lots coming in. So is it ready to send a shipping, you know, lane over to Stockholm at this point? Then maybe. Let's 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 try one. So, can I go for number four? Yep. Yeah. And then take it all the way over to 
stuck home there. So in Riga port then, we are picking nothing but loading fuel. And then unloading nothing but the fuel at this point. Right? Yeah. So if I'm here then, I'm only going to have one ship, cargo. And we'll keep it reasonably sized. Reasonably sized these days is like completely different. All. So what's the faster boat? This one. Alright, we'll just, we'll just use this one for now. Which is line 19. So that increases then this shipping capacity directly. Uh, for this fuel plant right now. Which is interesting. Got the ships all tooting along right now. Passengers waiting over here. That boat has got a few on. So this won't be very profitable for a while until we ultimately start having these areas, these little towns on this route, getting provided with their goods that they need. Like, for example, right now, wood needs to be sent down to here to create... Um, planks. Planks needs to over here to create tools. Tools then need to be sent to Copenhagen. Fuel is being sent to Stockholm, so that will slowly start growing. Uh, Hamburg's fine. It's already quite large. Food can be sent back over to Stockholm. Uh, Riga needs food as well, so we can send like a little cargo shipping lane over to Riga. Again, very important. Gdansk needs these tools as well, same as Copenhagen, which is all from within here. Uh, and needs so Copenhagen and Gdansk here need the, the bricks which is going to come from this plant over there We'll probably drive those rather than ship it So every town on that passenger line within this sea Can be grown in some way shape or form with local products nearby Very important So if I then create a new line Say from here Now who needed the food? They needed the food as well So we'll have that set up there. Then another new line from here to there. Right, so I've got two new lines set up. We have a food plant there as well, which we can utilize. Which is probably what I should have actually set up for, for Riga. But it depends how much this is producing. I mean, this is going to go through the roof right now when I set this next system up. So what I could do is configure this cargo-wise... To have an additional stop there. An additional stop there with some landings. So those two new lines that we just got created. So at Hamburg Port, one's on number one. This one's on, say, number three. So they're reaching... Oh, that goes a different way. Oh, that goes around. Interesting. Very interesting. So, at that point, where is the closest shipyard here? Buy vehicles for cargo, then. So, because these are the fastest, we'll buy two. So, we'll put one. Oh, hold on. Let me get right in. So, put one on this line. And then one on that line. Which then instantly makes this now produce into two additional places but it's going to require so much more wheat so much more wheat wheat's being stored there perfectly fine that will keep on coming so we, we got two wheat farms over here that will well, we'll probably utilize this one and we're bringing it over uh there's a wheat farm just there we can bring more over as well so we can keep loading that up but it's going to it's going to produce or utilize or kind of process that wheat so much quicker than any any before but the small amount that it does give to these little towns is going to be a big help to them because it's going to potentially grow them so while we have then if you take the charts well stockholm not so much is now starting to grow rapidly but i was going to say like say like for example i mean did i destroy copenhagen a lot yeah some of it did take a hit um what did i destroy the most i feel like some of the towns i must have destroyed quite a bit but these are heavily now start to grow they really will. Uh, Riga, charts-wise, has dropped down on industries altogether because I kind of completely killed them off. But hopefully they will spark back and grow anyway. 
this is still up there right now, producing. So we're just making... I got over half a billion. That's, you know, that's like ridiculous. So while I have been spending quite a bit of money, I've got to check these lines. So there's going to be some that do not make money. There is going to be some that do not make money. So if I do it by balance... And, okay, we do it from the balance, come from the top. So at the minute then, it's line 9. So line 9... Which is this line here, going back and forth. I don't think it warrants having two trains. So manage vehicle. If I sell one of the trains... Like that. That would kind of then hopefully ease how much money we're making. And then keep an eye on that at that point. Uh, line 7 then, which is... All the way over to here, which is the passenger line to Paris, Brussels, and Amsterdam. Yeah, not making that much money, which is completely understandable, but i got to grow these towns. Brussels has kind of extended itself into Amsterdam a little bit, but something else that's not really going for us, I need the bus routes to bring the people to the train stations. That's what's really important to grow those lines. It's interesting how Brussels is extended into Amsterdam. That's kind of hilarious, isn't it? I like, yeah, it's, I, I, like, I like that it has, but it's hilarious. Uh, other lines that are making or hemorrhaging money, the shipping line here, uh, that is, so let's take a quick look at this line, which is the back and forth uh, to London, all the way back to Riga port. Yeah, understandable, completely understandable. Um, but in terms of finances, it does make, it, it makes money every so many years because of the distance it has to travel. That's just how it is. That is literally how it is at this point. But we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on that anyway. Some are going to lose money, but if it just sparks growth for the the cities to then um, create money on other lines, then that's a bonus. That is a bonus. So a lot of these are just recently created bus lines. A lot of these are recent lines I've just created within this region. So I need to grow this region more. For those lines to kind of see grow from profit. Now that's doing wonders for us, boys. We're having um, food being stored left, right, and sent now. We just need to, to basically produce a little bit more. So it does climb up, but when it gets to this point where it then is ready to kind of rock and roll, it kind of runs out. But we have a... Um, a farm nearby anyway that we can kind of bring food i might eventually when this produces make it feed riga and stockholm and then take it away from this so that can feed other places tons of stuff we need to get done tons of stuff right now but i really do want to implement planes really really bad and i think what's holding me back is i wanted to kind of add one in within the uk and i just don't think that's going to work at this point is it I don't believe it's going to, which is its quite sad, but it is what it is, I suppose. It is what it is. Now, good dang, some of the charts is starting to grow again, which is good. Um, we are yet to see any ships come in for Riga for food. That will take some time. Uh, Stockholm is now slowly growing. Now, if I've, it's bringing in fuel, which the fuel is over this side. So I'm eventually going to have to set it up where it transports it over. Which is going to be really important, because if it can't reach anything to do with it, then it's not going to send any fuel over. If that makes sense. So i got to set up an additional line to bring that fuel over and in. So something like that would be really, really easy to implement. So it would be a case of getting said truck stop. And let's say placing it here. And then doing an unload stop, let's just say, randomly there. Setting up a loop to then go from here to here. So on the St Stockholm sittings here, all it's doing is picking up uh, loading fuel. Unloads nothing else, so I ain't got to worry about anything else at that point. And then just getting one truck, one simple cargo truck that can carry fuel. And then putting it on. Oh no, I put it on the right one. Yeah, I put it on the blue one, didn't I? Yeah. Does that. So then at this point, right, 
line 19 should then start getting fuel. It might take a while to complete a, um, a loop. There, oh, did you see it then for a second? For a, just before I went away. There we go. Now it's officially getting it. So then Stockholm will get its fuel. It will then slowly grow. So next episode, then we're going to get all the wood here, down to here. Then to here, which will produce the tools that will go to Copenhagen and to Gdansk. So that is one route we're going to heavily get set up, which would also help then our shipping routes as well. So we can kind of combine additional routes, which is going to be a big, big help. Very happy about that. But it's 1978 and we have no airplanes just yet. So we got to think about doing something. Something we got to get up and running. I don't know. I might pick. Uh, I might use Madrid as a way to airplane people to different destinations. If I use the Madrid, then pick the central point somewhere. Might I could in, I could incorporate an airplane? Oh no, I can't. It's a bit tight. We'll figure something out, guys. We'll legit figure something out. But yeah, we'll end it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Been a bit stressful, but we get in there. But until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye. <laughs>